Hello fellow YouTubers, today I am going to be reviewing an American Pale Ale by Granville Island Brewing, English Bay Pale Ale. Now, American Pale Ales are British in origin. The style is now popular worldwide. The use of local ingredients imported produces variances in character from region to region. Generally, you should expect a good balance of malt and hops. Um, fruity esters and buttery diacetyl can vary from non existent to moderate. And bitterness can range from lightly floral to pungent. This damn cap doesn't want to get off. There you go. American versions tend to be cleaner and hoppier, while British tend to be more malty, buttery, aromatic, and balanced. Overall, I prefer the British variation. Pour it into my... Samuel Smith pint glass. Glug, 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 glug. There we go. And as you can see, there is not a lot of head. Um. Just a hair under a finger's worth of head, light toffee brown body, dark caramel in color, kind of clear. Smells of sticky malts and light toffee. Maybe a hint of cinnamon. Taste pretty much matches the nose. Cinnamon sweet, sticky caramel flavor, slightly dry with a simple malt backbone. Kind of has a biscuity taste to it. Mouthfeel, um, decent carbonation and thickness. Not much hop character to speak of. Overall, a rather simple and decent brew, but there's really not much going on. I'll rate it a 6 out of 10. It's okay, but for even for an American Pale Ale, I was expecting more flavors. This will make a decent summertime beer. Drink cold while mowing the lawn. As you can see, there's some Place sticking to the glass. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. Yeah, I'm not detecting any hop presence whatsoever, not even a hint of floralness or grassiness. It's a decent ale, but unless it comes in a mix pack, I doubt I'll be drinking this much again unless it was offered at a bar. Which 
around here is not going to happen. All our bars. <coughs> here comes a quintessential burp, something that I always seem to do in my beer reviews, and only in my beer reviews. <coughs> You know, the bars around here serve, you know, Budweiser, Molson, Labatt, and Coors Light. Occasionally you'll get one that serves a more genuine draft. Not exactly beers that I care for. I definitely drink this Silver Canadian. Anyways, that's my beer review. It is 5% alcohol by volume. On the back it says, Our English Bay Pale Ale has a smooth, mild flavor, brimming with West Coast character and a caramel melt aroma. It's a true pale ale. I doubt that. Crafted for perfect balance under the watchful eye of our brewmaster. Food pairing. Caramel malt flavors pair up well with grilled meat. So, if you're serving barbecue, this is a nice beer to serve with it. And I'll give it that. I mean, I can see myself having some barbecued pork with this ale. It's just, it's nothing really special about it. It's it's decent. Let's leave it at that. It's decent. Final rating, 6 out of 10. Above average. I won't be seeing this beer out, but I can see myself having it again at a party, at a bar. But so far, it seems to be the weakest of the Brownville Island Brewing offering that I've had. I don't know, maybe it's tied in for... Maybe it's tied with the logger, I don't remember what I reviewed the logger for. <coughs> there it goes again. Anyways, take care all. Bye.